Welcome back to the St. John's Speed Shop fellow modelers. Getting started today on my entry for the Psychedelic 60s, 60s group build hosted by 60s Rule. Going with a Mobius kit. And so far I'm really digging it. Everything fits real nice just like I expected it would. In fact the only reason I bought this kit is because it's a Mobius kit and I don't find this to be the uh, most exciting body style out there, but I want it because of the quality. Let's get into it, shall we? There's our typical Mobius engine. Nicely detailed. Perfect fit on the parts. Here's our chassis. <clears throat> yeah, all this here is four separate pieces, and I mean they they fit like a glove. Absolutely spectacular fit. Amazing. Undersides nicely detailed. Real easy to. So far, this kit's real easy to put together. I'm gonna throw this in the beginners playlist. It's that good. Something to watch out for when you get to this point. The instructions have you drill out a few holes in the bottom so you can fit the exhaust in, eh, which is no big deal. They're, they're clearly marked where to drill. But what I couldn't find the instructions are there's holes you need to drill out for the exhaust uh, back here. You, know, you, you figure that one out on your own, but that's something to watch out for. You're going to need to drill those out. And the engine fits in there real nice. But something you got to keep an eye on here. This pin right here fits into the top of the transmission. That pin down on the bottom there fits into the bottom of the oil pan. When I was test fitting, I couldn't quite get the engine in, in there. I mean, I, I probably could have forced it in, but then it would have been permanent. I don't want that because it's not painted. So I found that if you elongate the hole in the bottom of the oil pan towards the transmission, gives you a little bit more room to work to slip the engine block in place, and that problem's taken care of. Those are a couple things to watch out for in this kit. Nothing major, but... These are the rims I'm going with. Something a little sportier. And these are the, I guess these are the stock rims. Not bad looking, but got to get the nod to the other ones. I'm going to give this car a sporty look. Typical Moby's dashboard. A lot of nice sharp detail to work with. That makes me mighty happy. Interior side panels, nice. I'm going to go to two-tone on this. Big shock. No idea what colors I'm using yet. And let's get down to the body. Uh, body had extremely minimal flash. You really had to look hard for it. But it does have a bit of a warp to it. I think you can see that there. But I'm pr I think uh, once I uh, start putting everything together, that'll get knocked into shape no problem. But I'm going to put this kit in the beginner's list. It's going together that well. It's not as complicated as other Mobius kits. So th this, this will make a good beginner's kit. Really, really definitely recommended so far and easy to build. And before I end this video, let me get a shout out to Mike's Model Shop for hosting the Mad Gasher group build. You know, give me an excuse to uh, do something a little bit different on a car. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty cool group build. I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody's going to come up with. But a uh, big shout out to Mike's Model Shop for hosting that one. And uh, 
with that, I'm going to get this, get into some serious paint tonight. So you guys have a good one. Next update will be a little bit more colorful. And with that, I am out of here. Have a good one.